The peace of the Lord be with you, my dear family of God. Today is the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today, I would like us to reflect on a theme. God heals the brokenhearted. Life is full of trials and tribulations. Sometimes, great tribulations affect our daily lives. Sometimes you feel that the world has nothing to offer us and nothing is meaningful in our life because the foundation of our life has been broken. Our strength has been affected. The call of our life has been destroyed and death is the best option for us. So sometimes we seek to die to kill ourselves. But today, I want to recommend one person to you, God. God heals our brokenness. Sometimes, our brokenness has affected us and created so much wounds in our hearts, in our lives, that it's very difficult to be healed. It might have affected our economic life, our religious life, our spiritual life, our social life, our family life, our cultural life, and our marital life. However, when God is invited into our life, He will heal our brokenness. Sometimes our brokenness makes us feel that nothing is possible. So impossibility becomes our national anthem. But with God, all things are possible. We read in today's first reading that Job suffered a lot. He was totally broken. He lost everything. His suffering became unbearable. He could not sleep. He had sleepless night. He felt that his source of joy and happiness has ended. But God restored his brokenness and gave him fullness of everything that he lost. We read in today's Gospel that when God was brought into the house of Simon and Andrew, their mother-in-law was restored to health. Her brokenness was restored. When you bring God into your life, when you bring Jesus into your life, your brokenness will be restored. I pray that the brokenness of your side should be restored. I pray that the brokenness of your economic life will be restored. I pray that the brokenness of your social life, your marital life, your cultural life, your religious life and your spiritual life be restored. For when God is with us, everything is possible. Again, God heals our wounds. So when God comes into our life, He will heal the wounds of disappointment. He will heal the wounds of rejection. He will heal the wounds of failures the wounds of sickness, and every wound in our life. Paul invites us today in the second reading written to the Corinthians that we should assist in the healing of others. So Paul makes himself available to everybody so that he can preach the gospel to them. He can preach the gospel of possibilities. He can preach the gospel of God's ability to heal our brokenness. Let us be there for everyone, understand every individual, and help them to bear the brokenness of their life. As we plead to God to heal the brokenness of the world by this COVID-19, we pray every individual to follow the safety protocols of COVID-19 by wearing the masks, social distancing, and 
washing of hands. I wish you a fruitful and a blessed week. May God bless and keep all of us. Amen.